And uh, Fiona have, and I have watched Gemma grow into the beautiful 29-year-old woman she is now. So, Gemma and Dane, Fiona and I are very proud and we hope that you'll be extremely happy. All that's left is for me to propose this first toast to this fine couple. So please, will everybody stand? Charge your glasses. The toast is to the bride and groom. token of my love and as a reminder of the promises and as a reminder of the promises we are making to each other we are making to each other i call upon these persons here present to witness that i Gemma louise davies to witness that i Gemma louise davies do take the dane richard pearson do take the dane richard pearson to be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawful wedded husband so now it gives me the greatest of pleasures and it's a huge privilege to declare that you are husband and wife. Would you like to give your beautiful wife a Dean, um, would you like to repeat after me? Sorry, Dane. Dane, sorry. <sighs> uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I've just seen something in the newspaper. Um, Dane, if you want to repeat after me, I'll give you this ring. I'll give you this ring. As a symbol of my ownership of you. As a symbol of my ownership of you. <laughs> place the ring on. Give us a finger. Fantastic. Excellent. Now, Gemma, if you want to repeat after me, uh, I'll give you this ring as a symbol to scare other women and men away. Give you this ring to scare other women and men away. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, so, um, D Dane, sorry. Uh, uh, double check. Right. Fantastic. Uh, it's getting a bit hot. So, so um, uh, um, um, I'm now happy t um, to pronounce you husband and wife, and you now may, may kiss. Oh, sorry, hang on. It's just been drawn to my attention that neither of you are free to get married now. That's because you two already got married early on this morning and have been brought here today. I've been brought here today to wind you up and your wedding guests. <laughs> so, I guess that just leaves me to say once more you may kiss your bride again. Gemma, you are as mad as a box of frogs. But that's why we love you. 
You're an absolute legend and we, we couldn't love you anymore. You made Dane so happy in ways that we never could. <laughs> Take that how you will. It's not every day that an old friend of yours asks you to be best man at his wedding by text message. <laughs> And it wasn't even a heartfelt one either. It was like one of those ones that someone writes when they're driving. But knowing that the kind of guy Dane is and the modern world that he lives in, I knew that he meant it in his deepest sincerity. Twinkle, twinkle, chocolate bar. My son drives a rusty car. Thank you very much. very much. Have a good night.